A family. Green. A community. Magnificent. <laughs> awesome. Common ground is different in a good way. <laughs> in a very good way. Common ground is different because it's small and pretty much almost all the teachers in the school get to know you. Common ground is um, it's a farm located in the forest, located in the city. Um, not your typical high school. It's not like there's a lot, of, a lot of cliques and stuff like that. It's very, you know, down to earth. Everybody's cool with each other here. You know, everybody knows each other. I like it a lot, so. Common Ground is unique uh, for many reasons. We don't teach standard high school classes. We teach concepts and skills that most other high schools will address, but we do it in a unique way. We do it through the lens of environmentalism. Environmentalism is really the study of relationships. It's about finding your place. And everything is connected. We're all a part of a sustainable design. Or not article, you're going to get facts about high fructose corn syrup. As a normal class in social studies, we take environmental history. In a lot of the literary courses here, we usually discuss environmental issues and write papers, research papers on issues that are facing the globe today. And usually in our science courses we'll look at the resources aspect of the environmental movement and see exactly what kind of resources do we need to start implementing and which resources we need to get off of in order to become more sustainable. Biomass though, a good option for us here in Connecticut? Why or why not? I mean, it's not a good option for us because none of the stuff that we work very well can grow easily in Connecticut. Documenting New Haven is all about uh, learning about the different environmental and historical aspects of uh, New Haven, West Rock area. The way I look at it, soon pretty much the whole world's going to be one big city. So if you don't keep at least a few uh, environmental areas, you know, you're not going to have much of a uh, world left. very challenging, but with the teachers you get so much attention. Green Jobs Corps is this program where students at my school come ground. We take part in jobs that are good for the environment. Right now, today we're planting new trees. We just got two of them done. And we're working with the URI Urban Resources Initiative. It's really important that students get the opportunity to be exposed to um, Shakespeare's plays in a way that, that isn't just uh, literary, that they actually, that it's hands-on. We took Shakespeare and we took his literary genius and we applied it to our local area and we performed Romeo and Juliet in the forest and we found ways of, of implementing sort of our environment and our surrounding in order to pull off a really amazing performance. Over the last year and a half or so, our students have been working on this series of outdoor interpretive exhibits. This project is about teaching the community which, that comes to, to this school about the bugs that are around us. And it gives the beneficial bugs and the ones that are not so good for our garden. And we had to do a lot of research. When they come back for their 10-year high school reunion, they're going to see the work they left behind. They're going to see an exhibit that they wrote all the text for and they designed that teaches the six or 10,000 people who come to our site a year about invasive species or about the debate around genetic engineering. It gives you like a good feeling because you're not just doing a project to do it, you're like actually helping the community. The power supplies, we got seven of them. Yes. Okay. How are you doing? Geek Squad is a group of students who, for some reason or another, they're good, savvy, techies. So we want to have their expertise that they know about computers to help maintain all this new technology that the school has available for them. Kayla and Laratees are talking to each other, and she's looking up at you. So I'm dying for each and then die. most important part is that we walk through your block. 
Students have a whole different way of looking at the system of our world than adults. Adults are a lot more set in our ways and we just wanted to get their imagination put out there. A year ago I sat down with a group of Common Ground students. Um, there was a big grant opportunity from a great uh, group called the State Farm Youth Advisory Board um, and I said what should we do with this opportunity and their idea that they came up with was to say if we get hundred thousand dollars what we'd like to do is create the nation's greenest high school. I want to collect the rainwater that falls onto our site and put it to a more beneficial use. Being a high school student you're usually not being consulted by staff over decision, you know, large decisions on how you're going to affect campus or what changes, what physical changes you're going to be making. It's pretty surprising. Like I knew we were throwing away a lot of stuff, but this is a lot. Well, here at Common Ground, uh, students have a unique opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one individual help with filling out college applications, actually completing the college search, going to look at different schools, gathering information, help with financial aid. I'm Alicia Nixon, and this is my college mentor, Megan Avery. Hi, my name's Calvin. This is Robert. He's from the University of Connecticut. I think this program will help me get into college because not a lot of students who go to other schools have one-on-one -on -one time with mentors from colleges. So. Um, I really think like I get an output of what students like the administrator is looking for so she can help me out with what I would need to write like an essay or what I can put on my application. Senior writing is a class for selected seniors and it helps us get ready for college level writing. It basically challenges us to work harder, not just on a high school level because we're going to college this year. Picking a college is a huge, huge, huge thing and sometimes you just sort of get overwhelmed with how many choices there are out there and actually having someone to sit with you who's been with you for four years to know which school would help benefit you, which school you'll fit in and feel a little bit more comfortable. Just having someone to be a sounding board to ask, okay, does this paragraph even sound okay? It's a huge, huge help and it's made a lot of difference with a lot of students here. So we have a number of students that take Gateway College classes. We also have um, a partnership with Yale. Apart from my regular high school curriculum, I also go to Yale on Tuesdays and Thursdays to take my ethics course there. It's, it's definitely given me a taste of what uh, Ivy League universities are like, but uh, it, it's really helping me to prepare for the workload that I should expect. It's pretty simple. Come here and shadow for the day will immediately feel the difference in the hallway. You will feel the difference as you walk around on the campus. You will see the difference every day in classes. Nobody's sitting with their head down on the desk at Common Ground. Everybody is basically an interlocked family of students and teachers. And you can count on anybody in Common Ground that you know for anything. You're not only a part of one group of friends. You get along with everyone, and it's actually a good place to feel safe and if you want a really fun different high school experience I think this is the best school.